Hello everyone, I am Nerdstalgic, and this is our Let's Play for Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop. Um, so, this isn't really going to be much of a Let's Play for this, uh, this game today. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is basically to let everybody know who has been following the series that, um, well, this will be the last video for Holy Potatoes, and here's why. Um, if you've been watching, you know that this is a pretty neat game, it's pretty cool, um, but there is one problem with it in terms of making Let's Plays. It's very grindy. Um, more often than not, my videos I've found have just been kind of full of me making the same things repeatedly and giving a lot of the same commentary, a lot of the same area events popping up, a lot of the same choices of fate. So, that's strange. Did I not save my game yesterday? I wonder if it failed to save. Huh. Let's try loading this one. Okay, so that's better. Um, anyways, I knew something looked weird when I looked at the starch there in the objective. I'm sorry, back, back on what I was talking about. It's just really grindy, and it's not, I don't feel like it's super entertaining. It's not really giving me the kind of video that I would like to give to you guys, so uh, this is going to be the last video for Holy Potatoes. If you've enjoyed it, just let me know in the comments, and you know, there's always a chance I could dust it back off later, just for just for fun, do a few videos with it. It's a pretty, like I said, it's a good game. I like it. It's worth the money, um, but I just don't think it's worth doing a super, super long series of, and that's kind of the way this is panning out. I don't think I'm going to be running out of starch anytime soon, and, and like, I, I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat the game, so I don't really want to sit here and make, you know, 40 more videos of me repeatedly grinding out you know, six weapons at a time and sending off people to research, so. But I will be selecting something else to take its time slot, and hopefully you'll enjoy that instead, so. Okay. Um, so I will go ahead and uh, we'll record this video, and yeah, after that there'll be something different occupying its 3 p.m. time slot. So, it looks like we're actually, well, it auto-saved. Here. So that's probably not where we stopped, but I guess I forgot to save the game yesterday for some reason. That's very strange of me. I know I was feeling a little bit ill yesterday. Okay, so I really have no clue where we are and what we're doing here. Okay, she's pretty pissed off. Yeah, we know that. Um... I've never seen it go to a black screen before. Let's look at our, uh, not at the world map, but at our weapon chest. What do we have here? It looks like those may be for the same person. And those are probably for the same person. Okay, so we're ready to sell, is uh, what I'm seeing here. Oh, we have a weapon request. Uh, so this guy, uh, <laughs> the title of it's lazy. My peons aren't working. I need something to whip them into action. I wonder what I can use. This is definitely a uh, reference to the quest Lazy Peons in World of Warcraft, which is absolutely one of my favorite quests. If you haven't played it, you get to run around and club some uh, sleeping peons in the starter zone, uh, the orc starter area. So it's really good. It's a good quest. But he just wants something with some accuracy and some magic. We don't have a suitable weapon yet. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get this knocked out prior to selling just because it's pretty easy starch. So what we'll do is um, the only complication to it is that it wants uh, something with accuracy and magic. So we're going to move you over to here. And you, we'll just send you to here and we'll send you over to here. How's the dog doing? Well, he needs some rest. And shoot here. And then we're just going to make uh, something with some good accuracy and magic growth. Okay. Accuracy, we could get that from either a bow or a pistol. So which one would have the better magic? That's probably what we should be asking ourselves. Probably pistol. 
So we'll do the uh, silent grasshopper here. Plus we have a ton of mats for it. And we'll, we'll boost uh, the accuracy. Because why not? And that should easily uh, get us there. Okay, very event. No need to do that. It's the distant cousin of a noisy insect. Yeah, grasshoppers are pretty noisy. Alright. So now we can uh, go ahead and get our selling on. Uh, we also are going to need to do a vacay. Alright, so let's uh, sell first. Sell first. We shouldn't have sent her back off. That was a boo-boo. Alright, so where are we selling to? I think we're selling here. Here? Here. Yeah, we're selling here in Buffet Mountain. <clears throat> yeah, yesterday I was just not feeling very well when I was recording. I'm not sure if it carried through into the video, but I was feeling pretty rough. And so I ended up like, after I finished recording my, my video for yesterday, I was just like, I actually took a nap and I had slept like 12 hours the night before, which is more than I, way more than I normally sleep. And I slept for three more hours. And then last night I started to feel a little bit better, but whew, man. Okay, uh, so we're gonna wanna send people that don't need a vacation. So like uh, Russet Peters here would be a good one. And then um, we're gonna be waiting on her to come back. So we don't really wanna start anything here with these other people. Well, actually, that's a lot. We could go ahead and do some research. So it doesn't really, I, I don't really care. Um, but I guess we need to make it something for him since he's not going to go on a vacation. So that'll get us another bow. Okay. That's good. Not as good. And very good. Ooh, he really likes that uh, that stat bump we put on that, so. I would say it's definitely worth putting those enchantments on there, wouldn't you? Okay, another area event. Um, fine, fine. We made a good amount of starch there. Oh my goodness, look at all the starch we have now. We are rolling in the starch at this point. Alright, so we're not going to send her back off. Uh, we need to do some vacations. Alright, vacation time. So, uh, we can't, we don't need to send uh, anybody here. So it's going to either be Shaka City or Hoboville. So we can do CHD, uh, price 1900, rating 3 out of 5. Or Cold Spudga, which is the uh, same rating but costs a little more. Takes a little longer, so we're going to do Hoboville. And we're going to send these three. It says, uh, CHD hobo speak for cold, hungry, and dry. Have some warm, hearty stew. Ah, let's see. Goodbye. Have fun. Okay, so we uh, research complete. We can now forge Ravenclaw. I think we might even have time to do another um, research, really. So they're going to be gaining a little bit. Let's do another research. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. And um, once they are back from their vacation, we'll do another cell run. Okay, we have a weapon request. He wants a dagger with 116 attack. Uh, so we're definitely going to do that. Probably do that as soon as they get back. Okay. Put you here. Put you here. Let's go ahead and make that dagger. So we'll do a. We'll just. Uh, actually, we'll do this one. Okay. So that, that's uh, easily going to get that done. So now we've got the research complete for the arbalest. Hey. I say, let's keep, we're on a roll here, let's research something else, huh? Another bow? Now let's do a wand. Okay, and we 
we can go ahead and send Ann Chandler back out to do some more exploration. She's max level, level 15. Very cool. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna send her. And we can send uh, somebody out to sell, probably Russ at Peters. So it should be those, right? I don't know. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. I got a little backwards. Okay, Dagger should be coming out pretty soon. Just enough time to give it to him. Skip that. Alright. Have your weapon. Okay. It's not too bad. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. He's still getting some levels, but it's terrible. Okay. Lots of good stuff here. That action. Now we got the bone wand. Very cool. And our weapons are now sold. Two A's and a B. Alright, alright. Okay, so now where are we going to sell to? That's our next question. So, I think we already know uh, here, isn't everybody max level? Yeah, so we're not going to go to Hoboville. Um, we got one person that can get levels here. What about here? Two people. So we're going to go here now. It's going to be harder to make things for these guys, but we're going to offset that with some uh, pretty nice enchantments that Ann Channer is bringing back. It's a pretty apropos name. All right, uh, let's put you here. And let's make some stuff. So... Uh, this guy is in Shaka City. Speed and magic, huh? We need to flip this station. And he'll take a dagger or a sword. So, ooh, the Scramasax. Cool. Wow, it's got the, it's got growth exactly where we need it. So this could turn out pretty well. Um, and we will boost the speed. He's gonna add a ton of, uh, speed to it. Because he is Bulk Bogan, Destroyer of Worlds. Okay, keep going, gal. Keep on rolling. Good stuff. Okay, all right. So we're going to put a um, a nice speed enchantment on this thing. Oh my God! Look at how many of these we have. Let's use it. Let's use a spicy jalapeno. Now, why I used a pseudo Italian accent for that? I don't know. It's just what came out, guys. Go with it. Spicy jalapeno. The spicy meatball. I have a really bad Italian accent. Alright, uh, an elderly potato in a lab coat comes by. You know, every time we've done this, we've answered a boy. Let's uh, throw a curveball here and say a girl. Apparently not. Uh, <laughs> he hollers, now is not the time to use that. Chasing after a potato child trying to ride a bicycle into the shop. What? Okay. That's some gibberish. All right, so a sword was the other one he would like. And we don't have a lot of swords, really. Okay, very good. Keep on going. Bring back the good stuff. Another choice of fate. This was a new one. There are three old hags stumbling about. They appear to be blind. You trip over an eyeball on the floor and they turn in your direction. Oh my god, that's kind of gross. Just give him the eye, get him out of here. Okay, that's new. I hadn't seen that, so it's going to boost the accuracy on this. Helpful. Uh, UFO, another good event for the weapon. And area event in Hoboville, where we're not actually doing anything. Alright, another spicy jalapeno. So that'll boost that up over 600. I hope he likes it. Who else can we make for in Shaka City? Shaka Town. Nobody here. Shaka City. Uh, Aaron Lance, okay. And uh, General Blow Up. Accuracy and attack. So we need to flip this station back. He 
he's feeling well, so we'll, we'll let him keep on rolling. Um, accuracy and attack, axes, swords, and pistols. Well, it's probably going to be easier to get the uh, accuracy on a pistol. Don't have good weapon growth, though. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, he didn't give hardly anything there. Horrible. Horrible. Alright, that's helpful. Finally getting some good events. Definitely going to need a, an enchantment here of the highest quality. So we're going to slap a Venus flytrap on the barrel of that gun and greatly improve the accuracy. He's still not going to pay us absolutely jack squat for it, I bet. Uh, what else? Well, he'll take an axe, huh? Eh, okay. We really need to research a new axe. We really need to get this guy to give us more uh, stats on things. Maybe I should look at his job. So he's mechanic level 6, huh? I mean, his stats look okay. He's here, he's in mechanic level 6. Maybe it's just his mood is that bad. I don't know, I mean, he's, he's in a neutral mood. Maybe I should be using uh, Russell Peters here. I don't know. He's just a metal worker. Hmm. You know, at some point, I need to be cross training these people a little bit more in their other abilities, or their other jobs. All right, so uh, same thing. Let's put a fly trap on the axe. How that works, I don't know. But, uh, don't question it. Spinch or disbelief. And, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? I think there was one other person that could actually gain... Oh, it was this guy, yeah. So, uh, okay. He's here. Uh, magic and speed, huh? <laughs> so, flip, uh, we'll be flipping. I'm sure the dog needs a rest. Okay, uh, weapon request. It's stuck. So, we already have a suitable weapon. Just something with 87 attack. Hopefully we can give him one of the junk ones. Uh, dog needs rest. Okay. Let's submit a weapon. Hmm. Neither of those are junk. Alright, we'll just move them back up here real quick. And we will make our own junk. Just make another dagger. It doesn't... It just doesn't really matter. I mean... With uh, these two here, we're gonna put so much, so much attack on it that it's gonna work out. Earthqu Earthquake! All right. So, look at his smith. So he's max level inventor now. Hmm. See, it would be nice to get people uh, trained enough to, to to get up into this stuff because once you get up to here you don't have to cross train anymore. You can just proceed directly into here, which is kind of nice. But I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I don't feel that comfortable with our starch, even though we do have quite a bit. Take that kitchen knife and get out of my uh, workshop. Okay, so she's back. Uh, we're working on this guy, right? Magic and speed, wand and staff. Ooh, we get to make a new wand. Cool. Now, he should add, uh, better. Yeah, there. He did better with that. Okay. Keep going. Uh, we got an achievement. Dora. Alright, another weapon request this time. This is for a lot of starch. Uh, wants a dagger. Only two days, though, so we're probably going to have to use one of our daggers that we have uh, stored up. Says, uh, Heated Affair, that pesky dragon has been keeping me awake with his roaring. I need to teach him a lesson, so I'm going to give you a dagger. Stat. Ooh, boost count. Hello. Uh, I don't know if I want to boost the speed on this thing. Let's boost the magic again. We'll get less out of it. That's fine. And then submit. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to submit this uh, dagger. Because if we, if we tried to wait, we'd run out of time. And I want that starch. So, 
out very good. We'll just have to make another dagger. No big deal. Full of energy. Get back out there. Okay, let's put... Uh, let, ooh, 45. Jeez, please. Yeah, put a sparkly on it. Alright, so next up would be a staff. Definitely gonna go with the Elder Staff. Good work, Fallender. She's back. Keep going. Got 105,000 starch. Burning a hole in our pocket. We don't know what to do. Okay. You know, it might be time that we actually decorated our shop a little bit. That could help things out, too. And uh, we need to go back to the dagger for this guy, so speed and magic. So it's the same layout, just a different, uh, different focus. Whoa! Alright. 18,000 starch times 1.1. We might be able to get on that. I don't know. Oh, boost count. Beautiful. Beautiful. We will boost the magic on this. It's gonna be a good one. Well, we might we might be able to get one round of sales off on that, maybe. Uh, we will use another brisk jalapeno in hopes that it gets us a lot of uh, starch. Okay, so let's immediately get somebody on their way to try to get some extra starch out of these. Who are we gonna send? We wanna send somebody in a good mood. And then let's do some research. I don't really want, I, I would really like another, uh, yeah, another, well, actually, I'd really like another sword. That's what I'd really like. Like that. That looks like a sword. It would get that done pretty quick. Okay, world map, explore, and we can send, uh, like, Volander Sword. While we wait, okay, so she is finished. Let's see what we're gonna get here. All right, so three thousand, not, not too bad, really. Uh, Four thousand, excellent. And uh, five thousand, so he really did like that. Very good. The key to the unlocking the extra starch is definitely uh, enchanting that stuff. Ooh, Fifteen thousand starch on that. Very good. We probably won't get that same uh, amount next time, but okay, we can forge a wraith here. I think. Uh, yeah, let's repeat that. Let's go ahead and research something else. What else can we do here? Whoa! Hello! That looks really cool. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a wild clicker. Alright, so let's sell again. Same place. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. This time, Laura Craft. Okay. Very good. Look at all that starch. Look at all that starch. Now, I've got to do a better job of remembering when we're doing this. Uh, the dog can have a rest. That will help uh, being able to keep the dog when we need him. Oh, a sick Awesome. Area event, sales in Hoboville. We're gonna run her ragged. That's fine. So he's not, not really willing to give us very much for that, even though it's got really good stats. Yeah, maybe they're out of money, huh? Ooh, good. Okay. And then after our next round of creation, uh, I think we're definitely gonna have to do some big because some upset people. So S and then two Bs. Okay, fair enough. Total payable fourteen thousand. See, she's only artist in level one, but but because she's a level fifteen explorer, she's making more starch than everybody. <laughs> Which is funny. 
So she should be in a better mood because she's getting paid a ton of money. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cut in here. As I had said earlier, this is the last video for this series. I hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, what Holy Potato is a Weapon Shop's all about. I mean, you know, it's cute, it's funny, it's worth your money, go buy it. You can get it on Steam. Um, you know, I think it's like 10 or $15, so. You know, if you want a time-wasting game that's relaxing, uh, pick this thing up. It's worth your money. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you with a new video, uh, new series taking up this time slot probably on Thursday? Yeah. All right. Until then, game on.